How's everyone doing? I'm Josh. This is my channel, Newtons Per Second. Welcome, everyone. Last weekend, I went down to the Cato Rocket Club's launch. That's out in Durham, Connecticut. That was March 16, 2024. And I got a couple launches in. One being with the Jupiter 3 Lite version. And for anyone that doesn't know about this rocket, this rocket is sporting a 75 millimeter motor mount, just like the big Jupiter 3 I have, and weighs about 14 pounds. It's a seven and a half inch diameter rocket and stands on six foot six, and you can see this is a little bit taller, but it's pretty close to the, the heavier version of the Jupiter 3. The sole purpose for building this rocket was for like going down to clubs that only have like an eye impulse uh, limit. Uh, Kato Rocket Club has that, and they don't really have a super high waiver. Um, I think it's like 2,000 feet for single deploy and 2,500 feet for dual. Um, but there are some obstacles around it. You got some swampy areas, you got some woods. So I really like flying big motors, and I don't want to go super high. This does the job. It's beautiful. I can put up about a full eye motor in there, and it's not even breaking a thousand feet. So it's a lot of fun. You can make a lot of noise, and you pretty much guaranteed to get the rocket back every time. And no dual deployment. You know, like I did everything I could to get the weight down. The original Jupiter three weighs about thirty nine pounds. Again, fourteen pounds. So that allows you to fly all sorts of big eye motors and have fun and get that rocket back. So this is the second flight for this Jupiter 3 Lite version. The first flight was with the Cato Rocket Club in December and I sent this up on an Aerotech I-500 Blue Thunder motor and that was an awesome flight. This flight was on a Cesaroni I-540 White Thunder. As much as I love Aerotech stuff, this Cesaroni I-540 white thunder motor was, I, I don't know, <laughs> this motor was just awesome. I, I don't even know what to say. Um, the roar it had off the pad, and it's an explosive motor. It burns quick, kind of like the, uh, the I-500, but it just had such a, a deeper sound. And if you haven't had a chance to fly in this motor or use it in your rocket, I highly recommend it. I know there's a little Cesaroni shortage of motors, but you get your hands on a motor, you'll be very impressed. So it turned into like probably one of my new favorite motors to fly in like the uh, the I Impulse class motors. I have four cameras on this launch, so I got a lot of cool angles um, seeing this thing going up. And the, the recovery is pretty cool. Uh, I can't complain. This thing landed probably like 20 feet from my car. Uh, makes a super easy recovery. And my second launch of the day is with the SD's Star Orbiter. And that was powered by Quest D20 White Lightning motor. Uh, this launch did not go as planned, although you can see no damage to the rocket. Um, the D20 sat there and sputtered a little bit on the pad. I'm sure everyone has seen plenty of those videos. And then it finally lit. Um, it, it kind of burned. I mean, it's a one second burn and I don't even think I got that. It seemed the motor just shut off and this thing coasted like the motor shut off I want to say like six feet maybe off the rail and it it just coasted the rest of the way. It, it was really weird like the motor fired and just shut off like a, like a switch and it, it coasted and then the delay I don't think was right at all. Um, it still looked like it traveled at a, a distance where a four second delay should have been okay. And it, it didn't even, uh, like the ejection charge went off, I want to say like 10 feet off the ground. So it was just enough to get that parachute to come up and swing the rocket and have it land and not go ballistic into the ground. Although Cato is a, uh, their field in Durham, Connecticut is very forgiving. There's thick grass, so. <laughs> Um, you know, it, even if you had something that landed, you know, as long as you kind of land sideways, I think you're okay. You'll never really break your rocket there. I'd like to give a shout out to John Poulin. He was a uh, great help getting this rocket set up in a pad and also trying to bring like three tripods and cameras and all sorts of stuff. So 
it was it's really nice to have someone to help you and so you're not like this frantic mess you know you're trying to set up a rocket you're worried about camera gear and all that stuff um so i really appreciate him being there um uh, you know he got a selfie with me and the the rocket um and he also shot a cool video so i'll be giving some credit uh where his video is on this with the rocket launch all right i'm going to cut to the flight videos in just a second I want to take time to thank everyone for watching these videos, hitting the subscribe button, hitting the like or a comment. It does help these channels quite a bit. And I know I absolutely love filming these rockets and this whole journey for everyone to see. So thanks again, and we will see you next time. That's five grams of black powder. Beautiful. Woo! Thank you.